What up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Fester Presser, SoundCloud, SoundClick, Instagram, the gram. I'll be on the gram. I'll be on the gram. Uh, and uh, this is just another excerpt of the NBA is fixed. And I'm going to listen to what World Star Hip Hop is saying about Chris Bosch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I have an opinion. Uh, there's not very many options at the moment for Chris Bosch. As the Miami Herald reported originally, he failed the team physical. So he's not going to play for the Miami Heat this season. Now, he could go and seek another opinion, maybe try to latch on to another team, but Miami has his rights, so that's a little complicated there. Um, they would have to either waive him. I, th this will get a little more convoluted, Terry. The Players Association will probably get involved. The league is probably going to have to step in here if he does indeed want to continue to play. Okay. And he's been very adamant, and he has waged a quiet campaign on social media that he's been ready to play since last season. So, so what do you think would happen if he decided to ask another team for he would have to get the the rights the rights would have to be away through Miami is what you're saying. Right. Before that all right, right. Before happen. any of that happens, we'd have to they'd have to make sure he's not a member of Miami Heat anymore. Right. At that point, and then if he gets to that point, <laughs> if another team cleared him, then yeah, he <laughs> could play. If another team I just cleared him, that's going to be tough to come by at, at this point because no, not. if what the Miami Herald is reporting is true that they're they found more clotting, I just don't see another team taking that risk. Okay, so in your More professional opinion, what you've seen, how does this all play out for him in the future? Yeah, I, I don't think that... If it were me, Kerry, I wouldn't play again if I were him. He's going to get his money. Um, he's got five beautiful children, a wife. I, I don't see the reason to want to play anymore if this is going to be a recurring situation. There's no reason to risk his life. Here's Okay, let's talk about it. For one, Chris Bosh is with the Miami Heat, you know, he's a he's a champion. Uh, and uh, he was on the squad that won a championship with Dwayne Wade and LeBron James, and they made the powerful three. And, uh, I'm sorry. This just came up that Chris, Chris, Chris Bosh has blood clots. And they're reoccurring. And uh, if you're listening to this report, uh, the guy talks about how there was a player who actually died on the floor because he had blood clots. Uh, if you don't know what blood clots can do, they can end your life right now. Right in the middle of a layup. They can just end you. And there's been a few people who've died on the basketball court. Uh, one of... Okay. Uh, one of the most famous was Lynn Bias. But I forgot what what his what his issue was. But he went up for a shot and he came back. He came down dead. So Lenny Bias was one. Uh, but nonetheless, so he's saying that Chris Bosh can be in trouble if he continues to play. Why well, continue to play? Chris Bosh is like, I want to play, but the Miami Heat is saying, Look, Chris, you're in physical danger of playing, and you can't pass a physical. Like they have to take a physical and be cleared. And he can't clear the physical. So he's saying that, the reporter's also saying that, look, if another team clears Chris, it's possible that he can play. Here's my thing. I think, okay, they, they also said that Miami Heat has Chris's rights, meaning his right to play, meaning he's under some kind of clause or contract. So it's just not all about clearing him and then he can play it's all about getting him out of this contract and i'm telling you right now <laughs> cleveland is going to pick up chris bosh okay let, let's look at it this way lebron james said he would like to play with chris again cleveland is 22 million dollars over the cap although they just uh, I heard through the rumor mill through my through my man uh, Supreme Allah said that cr they just got J.R. Smith's contract done. So I haven't even looked at the contract yet to tell you what it was, but I know that they were twenty two million dollars over the cap. But we also know that they are raising the cap, and they are raising the amount that they're playing these that they're paying these superstar players, which is diluting the actual game with the help of moving these players around and not actually having them represent 
a city or a team. It's just all about money now. It has nothing to do with your team. It's just all about who can get theirs and then get out of the game. And um, <clears throat> also, instead of people just leaving now, they're also leaving with, they're paying some of these superstars to leave. Uh, just like I think they did Kevin Durant, who we already knew he was going to leave, but they, they pay him a certain amount of leave. They pay any superstars to leave. So it's all about money is what I'm saying. And the number one money maker right now in the game is LeBron James. LeBron James made it very clear a couple months ago that he would like to play with Chris Bosh and him. Then you have this come up. Now, I'm not saying that it's not true. I'm not saying that the man doesn't have some type of situation. What I'm saying is that this is with this situation, they're not going to, the Miami Heat will not play Chris. This begins negotiations immediately if a team wants him and they're ready to take the risk on him and Chris is ready to take a risk. And the number one player in the game already spoke on the fact that he wants him. What do you bet a dime to a dollar that he's going to go to Cleveland? Listen, Chris is either going to go to Cleveland this year or, he's, or he might sit out for a year and go to them next year or thirdly, he will go to either New York or Chicago. Those are my three guesses. Number one, I think he's going to go to Cleveland because he says he's ready to play. I think he's going to get cleared. I think he's going to go to Cleveland. This is what I'm thinking. If they try to placate the fans and say, okay, he does have a problem. We're going to sit him out for a season. Okay, fine. Wait till next season. Let him sit out. Let him get whatever healthy. Have him come back into the limelight and say, you know, give make him have interviews. He feels healthy. You know, the whole rigmarole for us, even though they already know what they're going to do. This is why I say it's fixed. The whole rigmarole, okay, he's healthy now. Where are you going to go since Miami doesn't uh, uh, want you back? Or Miami may want you back and you say, well, you know, I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like, you know, I trust him anymore in the Porter family and all this other drama. And then uh, next thing you know, LeBron James steps in. Boom. And the reason why also why I'm saying next year is because of the salary cap. Because they can move around dollars next year. They can move that money around and it's just it's it just gives them an excuse. It gives them time and it doesn't look so fake to us. You know what I mean? It's because the fans are gonna be going, wait a minute, you went twenty two, you know, million dollars over there. How'd you get that money to, you know, fit in Chris Bosch? This is not like you're fitting in, you know, some third rate player or some college dude who just got off the, you know, just came out of, you know, some university somewhere. You know, this is a guy that you're gonna have to pay big money. He's worth a lot of money. So I just, I just, I'm not looking at this and thinking this is it for Chris. I'm looking at this and saying, this is how you build a super team and you use the fans gullibility, gullibility to do it, to make it seem like they don't know what's going on. And next thing you know, you have a super team in the Midwest uh, who's running through championships or is is in is a constant contender for like the next five years. Strong contender. I mean, they've already Cleveland has already been there twice. They won it once. If Cleveland gets Chris Bosch, this is going to allow them to uh, go head to head with Golden State without a problem. Like Chris Green, not a problem. LeBron Curry, not a problem. Like, like they're gonna meet, they're gonna match their stride instantly. I'm telling you, it's just a game of chess pieces. It's just, it's just that easy. They're gonna move this guy around, and I'm and I, I'm look, I could be wrong. I wasn't wrong about the championship though. I guess that even before it happened, like months before it happened. But I'm telling you right now. 
This dude is going to end up playing with LeBron somewhere. If not this year, it might be he might be playing with Le- LeBron in either New York or in Chicago in two years from now. It's your boy Tone 202. The NBA is definitely fixed. I'm out.